Welcome to the show. I am your host Sandman. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Multi Pick Jackknife Pocket Pick Set Exclusive Black Line Edition. Let's get into it. First off, this is brand new territory for me. I have never owned or reviewed or used a Jackknife Pocket Pick Set ever before, not in 15 years. This is my very first one. And I love that it is a multi-pick because I already know it's probably gonna be really high quality. I love everything that comes out of multi-pick. Zero complaints from me. Um, I do have experience with Covert Instruments, Com Covert Companion, and the Slim Pickens. Both of these have what's called the Riv Pick, but this is considered a multi-tool because I can take the Riv Pick, which is a foldable lock pick, out of both of these tools and expand it into an, a full-size lock pick with four unique tools and I have removable uh, turning tools. These are multi-tools. This is in a class in and of itself. So I do have experience with this, but this is literally comparing apples to oranges here. So I'm not gonna do that. I do, however, have other jackknife pick sets in route to my location. I have the Sparrows jackknife that has just been released this month. I believe it was actually released like a day ago. I have the Went jackknife on the way and I have the Swick jackknife and I will probably be purchasing the Southor jackknife and I think there's a right hand jackknife I'm going to try to buy as well. I'm going to try to have a good collection, maybe a good maybe six or eight of these so that way I can do a full comparison video and tell you my absolute favorite one moving forward. As of right now, I wanted to get this review out of the way, though I don't have a lot of experience with it. I wanted to get this review out of the way so I can have experience with it before I start doing the reviews of what I'm already considering that's going to be lesser quality or lower quality jackknife tools compared to this one. I think this one is going to be tops. I think it's going to be pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and get into this review. The Jackknife Pocket Pick Set Exclusive Black Line edition for multi-pick retails for 42 euros or 36 British pounds sterling or $39 USD. We do not pay a VAT in America. Do not be worried about that. We just pay $39.66 before the cost of shipping or any other applicable taxes. So that makes this very competitive on this market, especially with all of these tools. And I'm looking forward to reviewing against this this against the new Sparrows Jackknife, which only comes with a handful of tools, and it is twice the cost of this. I have a feeling that this is going to be much better, so very happy to have this in my collection. Now with micro-magnetic blade fixation. Let's talk about that. So inside of here, there's a very tiny magnet, and I think in past versions, prior to 2018, so Multipick has been in business for 20 years, and they've had a previous version of the jackknife that dates back about five years ago, and it did not have this little magnet in there. And I think as you were picking, some of the tools may have been flopping around. Now they don't have that problem. I don't, I've never heard any complaints, but I'm, the paperwork is alluding to the idea that this is a new invention since 2018. So that's a really neat addition to this, that you're not gonna lose any of your tools just flopping around like that. It's gonna hold everything nice and compact, but yeah, you can still pull out the tools if you need them to, to access them. So that's super cool. It says, small, handy, and highly functional, the new Jackknife Pocket Pick Set Blackline Edition for Multipick. We were able to develop this popular tool designed with some essential characteristics and significantly improve its functionality and efficiency. Thanks to the micro-magnetic blade fixation in the new 2018 model, it is no longer visible excuse me, no longer possible for the pick blades to slip out. The new Jackknife Pocket Pick Set, fashioned in form of a pocket pen knife, is available in three different versions, black, red, and silver. And I can tell you right now, I'm probably gonna own all three because this thing is super nice. An amazing look combined with extraordinary finishing makes it a special lock pick tool. This pick set is cut from an aluminum block which has been galvanized and repeatedly treated to a special micro finishing. It is a real eye catcher and a great everyday carry lock pick kit, weighing just 26 grams when compared to other similar products from the USA, which are manufactured in low wage countries like China. The different picks are made of German high-end spring steel of extreme hardness, but still provide the necessary flexibility. So 
I love how lightweight this thing is. I mean, it is super lightweight, coming in at about 26 grams. I can't express to you enough how light this is. I love that this thing was made from a galvanized aluminum block that has been galvanized. You can totally feel the construction quality here. Nothing in here is made of plastic. This thing is super nice. I love the lightweight form and fashion of it. I can see me just throwing this thing in my pocket and going about my day. The German heavy duty steel, which we use is a highly hardened and tempered metal alloy unique on the world market. To our knowledge, there is no other producer other than multi-pick who uses such a high quality material for pick manufacturing. Now the picks that are probably being used here, it could be that I, we know looking at the, let's see here, the Christina Palmer lockpick metallurgy analysis that was done on multi-pick tools back in 2013. We know that they are probably in the ballpark of about a 400 series stainless steel. Um, if I can find that, it would be a, 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 a miracle. I doubt I can find it here. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, Peterson analysis, carpenter, stainless steel. I don't see anything in here about multi-pick, but just take my word for it that these tools are probably about the 400 series stainless steel. So we're looking at about 250,000 pounds per square inch of ultimate tensile strength. That puts this in the very top tiers of lockpick metallurgy. So we're talking tier one lockpick steel. The only thing that could be stronger would be a 301 high yield, but I, I don't know. I'm th Those numbers are so close between each other of the 400 series and 301 high yield that it is, it's not fair to compare the two of them. These are gonna be some of the strongest picks on the market, especially in this type of tool and, and function like that. So let's keep moving forward. Let's see, all picks and the inbuilt tension tool have been fine tuned to enable the picking of an even narrow of even narrow cylinder keyways. Let's talk about that. So this is the turning tool that comes with this and the turning tool just slips in here, just like on a uh, pocket knife, like where you have the area where the blade opens and you just push that in. Now then, this may be loose or tight when you get it depending on this set screw or grub screw as some people in America call this right here. So this has a little grub screw. It's probably about a 2.5 millimeter. And if I loosen this, it'll make this a little bit easier to slide out. Alternatively, if I tighten it, it'll put pressure going this way into the turning tool and give it a little bit more pressure to hold it in. You do not want to just grab the turning tool and try to pull out this way. It's not gonna come out. What's gonna happen is it's gonna cause the ends to pinch down even tighter and you're just gonna end up warping and bending this tool. Instead of pulling this way, cause it's not gonna wanna come out this way, instead you want to try to loosen it by sliding your thumb across it. If it doesn't want to come out by sliding your thumb across, you have this tensioner a little too tight. So we're just going to loosen that up just a little bit. Now I'm going to slump, slide my thumb across again. Let's see here. There we go. And that's it. That's what we're looking for. I still need to dial this in and find that sweet spot. And then we're golden. So this turning tool, that's what it comes with. This is primarily going to be for bottom of keyway tensioning. And I love that it's essentially a Euro profile turning tool. It has a step on both sides. So it steps down from the original width down to this modified width there. And that's very similar to what I would call a Euro profile turning tool, which is really great for paracentric keyways. This should work in a whole manner of keyways. I don't know if this will work quite well for top of keyway tensioning for single pin picking, but that's really not what this whole setup is designed for. That being said, I would want to primarily Primarily put a lot of my rakes in this tool so I can prefer, uh, set myself up for success with bottom of keyway tensioning. Let's move forward. The blade is only 0.5 millimeters thick. The inbuilt tension tool may be re removed and placed with a light sliding movement, thus making it a real tool to work with. The different pick versions are fixed with a knurled screw and guarantees a 100% safe hold. So I can extend these out, whichever one I wanna use, and loosen that up there. The magnet here is gonna hold everything that I'm not using in. And then once I have the tool that I wanna use exposed, I tighten it up with the knurling here, and now I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's see here, in addition to its very lightweight, 
you also get a workable picking process with a very good feedback through the handle. The possibility of changing the picks in very short time is an added advantage to our new product design. You simply have to loosen the Allen screw with the optionally available single picks. You may select your own individual pick set, whether for yourself as a gift, for geocaching or for special forces for different sectors. The original jackknife pocket pick set for multi-pick is simply a safe and reliable companion for all situations. I'm gonna be honest, having been prior uh, military, I would have killed, <laughs> just kidding. I would have absolutely loved to carry something like this in my pocket for every day. It also comes with this lanyard here. I will not be putting this on here, but you could put this lanyard in here. That way this doesn't get lost in deep pockets, or I could attach it to the lanyard, which could attach to, let's say, like my go bag or my, my deployment bag, or I could just put it on my keychain. This thing is super compact and super lightweight. That actually may be what I do. I may put this on my keychain. That's a really great idea. Moving forward, the jackknife pick set contains the following picks. One diamond pick. Let's see if we can find that here. So we have the diamond right there. That's a diamond, so that's a traditional half diamond. One hook pick, one snake. This is the snake rake. Uh, one, uh, what they call a six peak mountain. And we have one half ball pick. And then we have an extractor. And then we have our tension tool right here. So we have the dimensions. It says all in all, a top quality tool. This will delight even professional lock pickers. And I have no doubt about that. I'm super excited to start practicing with this. Um, let's go ahead and play around with the uh, the profiles here. The So this comes with six profiles. I'm probably never going to use a broken key extractor, but you know what? I'm going to use this for everyday carry. That's really not a bad tool to have. People do break keys off in, in lock, so maybe that's not a bad tool. I might keep that there. Let's go ahead. I've never removed any of these. There's already a couple profiles that I would rather have in here and some that I probably wouldn't be the, the most ecstatic to use, but all these profiles are very traditional and therefore very practical, but I think they have some a better um, selection here. Let's play around with those. So this, this set screw here is two millimeters. Let's pull that out. Let's see what happens here. So let's say I want to pull out this half ball. I know I'm not going to use that. Uh, let's see here. I like the snake rake actually. I like the half diamond. I like the short hook and I like this. Oh man. Oh man. This is so hard. There's so many profiles here that I want to use. Um, I would, I think I would like to add the Bogota for now. And it would probably be really smart to add one of these rounded hooks for high low uh, pin count and um, these rakes are not bad at all. I really like this guy and I wouldn't mind trying these DeForest half diamonds, but let's just add this Bogota first. And we're going to do something here. We're going to change up the ordering here. So let's put this guy right here. So that way all my rakes are in one section and then all my single pin picks are in another section. Let's put, yeah, I, I'm fine with all that. Now, you know what? Let's take this extractor and put it over here because I would love to see what it feels like to single pin pick but I would want to set myself up for success and put the lifter hook here to put the flat hook here closer towards the side of my pick, I think. Let's give that a try. I don't know if that will make a difference or not. Hmm. Okay, well, that's what's cool about this is this, this whole thing is entirely um, customizable. And that's, that's super exciting about this particular uh, jackknife. I've seen a lot of jackknives where you just, they come with four or five tools and that's it. You're just stuck with it. So let's see how hard this is to put back together. So far, so good. Man, that's it. That's super easy. I guess it would have been easier to let it fold into itself so that way the magnet holds it steady. But I think I got it. And this is probably a good tensioning device too. So if you are wanting these picks to be just a little bit looser, you could. Um, so let's talk about these, uh, these actual picks. If I pull out my turning tool and I'm having trouble accessing the picks, I could probably just use my turning tool to loosen these tools up. Let's like that. And let's go ahead and pick, let's start with rakes. Let's see what we can do with rakes right now. Let's, let's aim low. <laughs> let's keep our expectations low and then we'll work our way through the picks and try to aim higher and higher. So let's try this Bogota here. Let's tighten this up. Let's start off with this security lock. So this is essentially just a four pin security lock. I bought at uh, Walmart. Let's use bottom of keyway tension. A lot of movement in that core. 
never used this tool before in my life. I'm going to do more pulling than pushing because I don't want to bend this tool. Let's see what we can get away with. It's also really hard to pick locks on camera. There we go, we got an open, that was quick. So it's really hard to pick a lock on camera with my arms. You guys can't see this, but my arms are about two feet out in front of me. So because of the camera and because of the mat space, uh, when I do rake locks, I like to bring the lock up against my chest and do a little short movement. So I have a little bit more control and I can feel more feedback with my turning tool that I can't feel while my hands are floating in front of me. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, let's try this uh, Brinks lock real quick. Uh, so we have a Brinks 30 millimeter. These are very common in North America, even though that's uh, made uh, overseas. Let's see if we can get a good open with this, with this um, Bogota style profile. Oh, and we got an open. That's great. So let's try a different rake here. Let's see what we do. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I can't open a lock other than just be honest. I'm like, well, I wasn't able to get that one. So <laughs> let's see here. So I'm gonna loosen that up. And let's try the city rake, city rake. So they call this a six mountain and that's fine. Um, in America, we call this an L rake or a city rake. I believe L rake was the first term for this used by HPC. And then um, you started seeing city rakes, um, the term city, cause it's like the skyline of a city, but I can see why they would call it the mountain. So I think city rake may have been more of a, a slang term for this, but I could be wrong on that guys. So let's see here. Okay, so I have movement in the plug, but it's a really cheap plug. I really need to upgrade my, my test pool here. And I'm, oh, oh, here we go. We got an open, that's good. That was actually a little bit quicker than the Bogota. The Bogota, the high lows on the Bogota is really great for residential and commercial keyways because you're gonna have larger pins. Whereas this mountain should be a little bit better for um, these uh, smaller pins that you find in padlocks. So, cause it's a much smaller core. So let's give this a try. Oh, we got an open. That's great. I'm, I, I don't have a lot of experience with this, so I don't know if choking up on this is going to be better or if coming back here or if holding like his would be better. But I like an overhand grip when I rake and I wanted a little bit more control, so I choked up on it. But I also, you know, because this is a 400 series stainless steel, I do believe this is going to be more than strong enough for durability. But just don't go crazy on your locks. Just try to work technique and finesse. Um, you know, technique is always going to win over brute strength. So let's give a couple other rakes a try before we start doing the single pin picking. So we have the snake rake. So this snake rake, that's a super old design. This snake rake has been around since probably the mid 1950s. I think it was an HPC design, 1954, I believe was the year when HPC uh, became a, a company for manufacturing tools. And so let's give that a try. I actually don't think this snake rake is gonna work very well on this particular lock, but we'll give it a try. Maybe you won't know until you try. It's really great for zipping, um, just sticking in and kinetic picking like that. Um, there's also a technique where people will start right here, go light on the tension and just like jab it, but I'm not, not known for doing that. So I'm gonna give it two more tries. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this. Oh, holy crap, we got it. So some people actually don't like these snake rakes. They say, oh yeah, they don't work. Well, they work for about 75 years. So they still work. I just don't like that. It's essentially just one hump and then you have a plow in front. You could probably pick this lock the same without this little front plow. So this is essentially just one little hump. Not a super big fan of that, but we saw that it works. So let's give this guy a try. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too much. Let's see here. As I said before, the strongest strength of this, because there's only that one hump, the hump is probably gonna be zipping. And as I uh, feared, these brinks actually have really long pins and have deep cuts. So they're, these, these, I'm not gonna feel super comfortable using the snake profile on this particular brinks, but this is a really great profile for raking regardless. So I'm, I, could I get this? Yeah, I probably could, but let's go ahead and move on to the single pin picking, which is where I'm really curious and interested to see the results of that. So let's go ahead and start with the, uh, why don't not? Let's go ahead and go with the short flat hook here. I should be able to get this. I don't know. I'm curious. I've never used this before. This may be too tall. I may have to go with the half diamond here. Let's see here. Click on four. Nothing on three. Got to click out of two. 
I'm gonna click on a one. Make sure that the, yeah, that was one. Okay, let's see here. Oh no, that was one. Now we got an open. That was super easy. That wasn't that bad at all. It was. It didn't feel uh, cumbersome. It didn't feel unusual. Um, I have good control here. Um, you just have to, uh, you know, it's not a lock pick, but it, but it is a lock pick. So that's okay. Let's uh, let's give this guy a try. Let's see here. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of using bottom of keyway tension and picking, but that seemed to work just fine. Um, I think the space here is going to be a little bit too tight. I would rather use the half diamond on this one. So let's see what else we can do. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just move the half diamond. I love how quick it is to, to switch here. So, okay, here we go. So we'll get the half diamond. It's a little bit lower profile because I've got a tighter space here now. And uh, being that I'm on the bottom of the keyway here, so let's let's give this a try. See what we can do. See what we can accomplish. Can I get a click out of four? Something out of three. And my pick is stuck because I'm using bottom of the keyway. Let's see here. Let's go to uh, number one. And there's my dog barking because somebody's outside, and my dog owns the entire neighborhood. Yeah. See, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel okay. Daisy, I don't feel super comfortable. Sorry about that. Hey, you know, I, I do what I can. I don't feel super comfortable single pin picking uh, this uh, with bottom of keyway. Um, that's just my style. So I would rather rake these locks. And that's really what this is for. It's, a, it's an everyday carry tool. And it is really great for emergency use and just for SHIT when stuff hits the fan. Let's move on to, I may have room for this American lock. Let's give that a try. about that I had to put my dog away someone could say well say man why don't you just edit this out my friends I'm like 20 minutes into this freaking review so I do what I can my friends I mean I'm not exactly getting paid to do these reviews okay I, I literally do these at the kindness of my heart because I'm a tool collector and people put so much restrictions on me and I got it okay so that is good so this is a this is an American lock green belt. Now here's the deal. Let's be honest. I've got like 10 of these things. Obviously I'm gonna put like the easiest one to open, but I didn't know it was gonna open that easy. That was super quick and super easy. Let me rotate that core and let me lock this guy up so that way I don't over rotate that core and dump my driver pin. So, you know, I do try to set myself up for success and for the tools, but this made it look stupid easy. So that being said, I think that's enough product testing here on video. Um, I do have, so I do like the short hook. I do like this short hook and I would like to spend more time experimenting. Maybe try this short hook instead. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit less deep. I think I'll have more success with that. Um, I do like the rakes, but the snake rake is going to be limited to uh, the very smaller pins, not the large pins. I don't see any setbacks with this tool whatsoever. I think it's just gonna come down to the user's skill. Um, I do not think this tool is going to magically open locks for you. If you come across a lock that you haven't been able to pick with a full size set, you may struggle trying to pick it with this. But if you can slay locks, and I've been able to open 11 of these American 1100 uh, series padlocks uh, out un under five minutes, so just north of four minutes, I can, I can open a whole bunch of these. Um, if you are competent in lock picking, then you're going to be competent with this tool and you're gonna know its limitations. Let's be honest here. I think this is so far going to be probably the best jackknife that I will own in my collection. Time will tell. I think this is made of superb quality. I think the weight on this is makes this an absolute immediate care, everyday carry tool. I actually have a very special new wallet now that I'm probably gonna slip this into my wallet for everyday carry because I don't have to worry about crushing this because of this uh, like this uh, aluminum that it's made of, like a billeted aluminum, I think it was. So um, I think this is a quality tool. However, this tool is only gonna be good enough. It's only gonna represent your current level of skill. So if you are struggling in some areas in your lock picking, you need to know what those areas are, whether it be the knowledge of the locks that are in your surroundings or the type of tools that you would use for those locks or the level of skill that you currently have, that's gonna be your number limiting factor. I think this 
is going to complement your skill level, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to be a better picker if you want to pick harder locks, and that really falls on me. So um, I think this is a wonderful tool. I think this is great. I think this is, I could highly recommend this, and I think this is um, I think this is super practical. I think I love the, the 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 form factor in this. I love the portability of it. I love how everything puts together. And I think I can see this being a part of my everyday carry. I am known for saying that I don't carry lock picks as an everyday carry. I do keep my covert companion in my truck at all times. And I've been experimenting with keeping the slim pickings in my pocket. One of these is going to end up on my keychain permanently. I haven't decided which, but I really think this is still comparing apples to oranges. So this is super cool. And I really like that. Um, I don't know what else to say to this other than that I look forward to using this more in the future and getting used to um, how it comes together, pulls apart, the, the subtle nuances of it. I absolutely love that I have these 10 tools to go with it. I don't know if this comes with every single version of the, the jackknife. If you are looking to add this to your collection, make sure that you're reading the details and see if it does come with the extra 10 tools. I highly recommend that. Um, furthermore, Multipick reached out to me and said, hey, Sam, man, we love your reviews. Why don't you have a permanent 10% discount code? That's good at least until the summer of 2024. And why don't you extend it out to your, your followers too? So if you um, go to checkout, you can use MPYT SAND10. So Multipick YouTube SAND10. And you should be able to get a 10% discount code. I believe there is a single exclusion to that. And that exclusion is you can only have up to eight items in your shopping cart. So if you try to buy a bunch of little onesies and twosies here and you have 20 items in your shopping cart, you might not be able to get a full 10%. But if you buy something like the Aries or the Kronos or something cool like this jackknife pick set, you should be able to get 10% off. So give it a try. I don't get anything in return for this. I reached out to Multipick and said, hey man, I'm buying a lot of your product and I'm doing all these reviews for free, could I just maybe get like a one-time discount code? And they said, Sam, man, we love your videos so much. Once you have a permanent discount code that will be that will last well into 2024. So that's where we're at. I get nothing for this. This is a perfectly honest review. I'm just trying to help you guys out because Multipick is helping me out. They seem to be a really solid stand-up company. They've sent me a lot of products to review and I have purchased a lot of their products. I absolutely stand by all of my reviews. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you have any experience with these jackknife picks do you see yourself purchasing this multi-pick jackknife what would you like to see in a jackknife that maybe this lacks i think this so far is it's just grade a but i really need to put some more jackknives in my hands so that way i can have a better opinion that's all i have for today if you like this video hit the like button if you're new here hit subscribe and as always i'm not rich i'm irresponsible thank you all so much so much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time Mr. Sam.